Hi, welcome to Bobby's World. I'm Howie. Is this gonna be a great show or what? <laughs> How would you know? You haven't seen it yet. Unless it's a rerun, <laughs> then you have seen it. Then you do know it was a great show, right? Because today's the day that Bobby gets to take Roger to the veterinarian. Right, Bobby? <laughs> Good thing Roger doesn't know what we're talking about. Because if he did, he'd be out of here like a bat out of a uh, steeple. Bat out of a steeple. Because that's where bats hide. Because uh, Roger hates going to the animal hospital so much that he'll run and hide even just seeing his leash. He'll just take off and uh, can't show him his leash. Oops. Gadzooks! I better change it to a cartoon! Don't try this at home. I'm a professional. Martha, Kelly, Derek, you better get down here quick. Roger's run away. Bobby showed him the leash and he disappeared. I made Roger disappear? Or fix? Tonight on Mysterious Disappearances, the strange case of the leash that makes dogs disappear. Good evening, I'm Robert Stark, and I'm talking to Bobby Generic. Yeah. Uh, yes, a uh, young man who claims he can make dogs disappear with a leash. That's right, Mr. Stark. I showed him his leash, and he disappeared like a bad out of A steeple, I believe you were going to say. <laughs> uh, now, tell me in your own words what exactly happened. Dad told me not to show Roger the leash. He held up the leash like that. Because cause we're taking Roger to the vet. The vet! This leash is dangerous. Every time I hold it up, something disappears. <laughs> because you made your stupid dog run away, you stupid. Get off on the fire engine. That's for Chet stuck in the tree. Green, <laughs> let her go. <laughs> Damn, like you two. Bobby, I cannot believe that you were dumb enough to show Roger his leash. It was an accident. <laughs> hey! It was an accident. Like, uh, like that. Okay, that's it. It's Bobby's fault. Kelly did it. Oh, now, kids, kids, here, stop bickering. What's done is done. Now, look here. We're all going to have to pitch in to find Roger. Dads love this pitching in thing. It means they get to make lists and organize stuff. One step ahead of you, dear. I made a list of Roger's favorite places. I'm randomly assigning each of you a list of places to start now, looking. Now, honey, can we just start looking? Well, okay. 
Luckily, moms are better at finding stuff. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, you want me to look for Roger in the basement? <laughs> okay, fine, but I'll have to change out of my good clothes. <laughs> Those are good clothes? Well, I'm not helping him. No, Roger's the family dog, Derek. We're all gonna look, don't you know? Bobby lost my baseball glove and he never found it. Oh, now, Derek. Derek. Oh, keep it. This is the last time. It's moments like these that really bring a family together. Roger! 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 Roger, where are you? Roger, are you in Kelly's room? <sighs> I guess not. Roger! Roger! No sign of Roger! But I did find your baseball glove. I'm, I'm sure Roger's around here someplace. He's probably hiding right under your nose. Hiding under my nose? <laughs> well, come on, let's start looking. Okay. Hey, I sure appreciate this, Ted. I gotta get off to work now. Hey, what's an uncle for? I love these kids. <laughs> uncle Ted? Yes. Do dogs think? But think? Well, I think so. I mean, well, yeah, sure they do. Okay. Then to find Roger, we should think like Roger, right? Oh, ow. Right. Oh, yeah. Hi, Helen. Howdy do. I was hoping that maybe you saw Roger in your yard? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, just a second now. I think I hear him barking. <laughs> No, I'm wrong, Helen. It was just Bobby and his uncle acting like a pack of dogs. <laughs> what in the Sam Hill? <sighs> hey, Bobby, want to chase a truck? Come on. Uncle Ted, what if we never find Roger? Roger! Come here, boy. Roger! There you go, Roger. Roger! Come here, Roger. Where are you? Roger! Roger! Bobby, I think we're gonna have to do some old-fashioned detective work. Detective work? Yeah, you know, go house to house and ask neighbors if they've seen Roger. You mean... Go up to mean old Mr. Ernie's house? Sure, Bobby. We're detectives, aren't we? Do you think Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson were afraid to knock on a door? Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson? Like on TV? Yeah, you know, the famous detective and his assistant. Yeah. Hello, Governor. And may I say, it's a pleasure to hear such a distinguished detective as Sherlock Holmes' generic... General. Right. ...and Dr. Uncle Ted Watson riding me cab. Cab. Have you found something, Holmes? Uh-oh. It's worse than I thought, Uncle Dr. Watson. You don't mean? Yes! We've come to the lair of my arch-enemy, mean old Professor Moriarty. <laughs> come, Uncle Dr. Watson! The chase is on! Ah! 
Listen, behind this door, barking. It's Roger! I say. Let me rephrase that. It's not Roger. Shall we run? <laughs> For Roger, you were hanging out with your dweeb friends. Oh, right, right. Like, you had a better idea. Hey, I searched the whole entire park. <laughs> Please, the park? <laughs> you were playing baseball. <laughs> Come on, you guys. There's got to be some place we haven't looked yet. Bobby's right. Let's all put our heads together and think of the one place we haven't looked. <gasps> the, the dog, dog catcher! catcher. Uh, is this here your dog? Yeah. 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 Yes. What'd you do? Uh, show him his leash? Yeah, I thought so. Bobby! Oh, wonderful. You found Roger. Now hurry and get him into the cart, because we got to get to the vet, don't you know? Look you over here then, would you? It shows all the different kinds of dogs there are in the world, don't you know? Now let's just see if you can find Roger here on that chart then. Oh, hunting dogs. Is Roger a hunting dog? <laughs> My name is Roger Janowick. Janowick, huh? I'm hunting webways. Uh, what's up, Dork? I'm hunting webways. Have you seen one? Do they look like this? Exactly. Thank you. That was... Hey, wait a minute. That was a webway. Come back here, you wasky wagoon. Excuse me. A time for the vet to see Roger now. Oh, Bobby, now let the girl take Roger. Wait! Can I come with them? Uh-uh. Sorry, Bobby. You mean Roger's gonna go in there alone? <laughs> Mommy, 
Mm -hmm. How long is a minute? Well, a minute is, um, 60 seconds. Oh. Well, how long is a second? Uh, I'll give it a rest, Bobby. Roger will be just fine. What if Roger needs us? Oh, Bobby, I'm sure Roger will be happy to know you're so concerned. You know, maybe when you grow up, you'll be a veterinarian. Here, here's a magazine about animals. Me? A veterinarian? Oh, you're so cute. It's a veterinarian. A doctor who takes care of animals. A vet. Me? A vet? Just a minute. It's Dr. Bobby. Let me see this camel. There are a thousand tails in Dr. Bobby's Animal Hospital. Animal! Animal Hospital? Here are a couple of them. What's wrong, Mr. Humpy? Oh, Pooh. It's my back, Doc. I think I broke it. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's the problem. Straw! The straw that broke the camel's back. Oh, that's better. Amazing. Oh, well, thanks for bothering with me, Dr. Bobby. Thank you. How can I repay you? Can, can I give you a lift somewhere or something? No, that's okay. It's all in a day's work at Dr. Bobby's Animal Hospital. Oh, hi, Doc. Hi, Tom. Up pretty fast. Next time you jump off a fence, be careful where you land. You've only got six lives left. Does it hurt when I do this? Yeah. Yes! And I won't do it anymore. Dr. Bobby! Dr. Bobby! Yes? Come quick! It's an emergency! And I'm an old doctor's work has never done. Now breathe deeply. <laughs> Oh, can you help me, Doc? I got a big show tonight. Hmm. Your trunk is definitely stuffed up with peanuts. Peanuts? <laughs> peanuts the clown! Oh, gee, thanks, Doc. Man, I feel a lot better. <laughs> These are just a few of the tales that wag in Dr. Bobby's Aminal Hospital. Bobby! Uh, Ma'am, I'm not finished yet, okay? Tune in next time when we hear Nurse Felicia say... Bobby! Bobby! Okay, Bobby, I have to call home and tell him we'll be late. I want you to wait right here, okay? Okay. I'll wait. But she didn't say how long. for my dog, Roger. Is Roger over here? <laughs> Sorry. Sure. I was looking for Roger. Well, you've got this place in an uproar, don't you know? Roger! <laughs> I'm Bobby. Roger's my dog. Oh, cry manitly. I hope we're not being a big bother. Oh, no. In fact, I wish more people took the time and effort to bring their pets in for a checkup. Is he okay? Oh, Roger's fine, Bobby. He just needs his shots. Do you want to help me? Sure. I run Dr. Bobby's animal hospital. <laughs> All right, you get his attention. I don't want him to see the needle. Oh, okay. Hey, Roger, look at me! Oh! <laughs> 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 
All done? I don't know what you did, Bobby, but I gave Roger his shot and he didn't notice a thing. Oh, my Bobby's got a very good imagination. <laughs> Yes, sirree, Bobbo. I bet you've had quite a day, huh? I bet you feel better just knowing Roger's healthy. Yahoo! Hey, you know, just like Roger, I gotta go to the doctor tomorrow and have my annual checkup. Because I haven't had my annual checked in years. You want me to go with you? You might need a shot. <laughs> no, I don't think so, Bobby. Okay. At least you won't need... No! <laughs> no, not the leash! Will Bobby get to stay up late, or will he? Bobby, go to bed! Oh, oh, sorry, Bobby. Maybe next time. So tune in next time, because we're gonna do something really weird. Well, not really weird. I'm just gonna wear my underpants inside out. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>